Next, the judge finds that having too many talents can give you more trouble than applause. He is not Snow White, but he too has seven dwarves. Judge Florentino Floro Jr. claims his Angelos de la Guardia appeared to him for the first time four years ago in a vision. In March 1, 1996, uh, nakita ko sila sa napakalino na pangitain o tinatawag na psychic vision na si Luis, si Armand, na hindi raw nila ako babayaan at tawagin ko lang ang pangalan nila, talagang nandito na sila. They said they are white dwarves who practice advanced medicine. Two years after that vision, Judge Floro discovered that he was bestowed a gift. No, not Solomonic wisdom to help him dispense his duties as a judge at the Malabon Regional Trial Court, but hands that can heal the afflicted. Hindi ko pa siguro masyado maramdaman agad niya, pero may pa na... Meron nung may ginawa, may ginawa akong naramdaman, kahit pa sa'yo. Yung kamay ko, eh, dinadampi ko, pero may ilaw na nagpa-flash o bumubulwak. Uh, pagka lila o violet ang ginamit ng mga elementals, eh, complete and long-lasting ang pagaling. It is Luis and company, that is, the seven dwarves, who decide who gets well. Just like Santa, they can see who's been naughty and who's been nice. Judge Floro has healed close to 2,000 people in his makeshift clinic in Malolos. Parang may bumabang halo blocks dito, yung may dumadagan, masakit yung ano, parang laging hilo, inaantok, tapos po yung puso ko parang may tumutusok na kakayog tagus dito. After a few minutes, Sylvia vows she feels much better. Lola Looming has given up seeing regular doctors. She suffers from rheumatism and all sorts of body aches from taking care of her grandchildren. Nagaling, nagaling. At para ba yung init ng kamay niya ay natagos hanggang pa naakyat sa buong katawan? Ang pakirandang ko. Kaya ngayon ay maluag na ito ng katawan ko. Judge Floro says his method of direct touching, transmitting heat from his hands, can cure anything and has no side effects. However, he is quick to add that he is no witch doctor. For kulam, possession and the like, you have to go to someone else. Yung method ko e unique, nag-iisa sa buong mundo, kasi yung kamay ko, pag pinasok yung init, pumapasok siya sa init ng loob ng katawan. At kung walang sakit, sa surface lang. Jaime Licauco disagrees. He met Judge Floro once when he was invited with other healers to his office. Uh, there is an extraordinary heat that uh, emanates from his hands, which is also uh, true of other healers. He probably has not understood this, that these powers are, are, are not unique and that everybody has these powers. Once you concentrate on this, you can actually... Um, display such powers and to some a judge with psychic powers is just too much just a few months after his appointment to branch 73 of the malabon regional trial court judge floro was suspended ang bintang sa akin eh yung psychic phenomena kasi uh, base sa kanilang uh, pag-iimbestiga ako raw eh uh, kiniklaim ko raw daw na number five psychic ako sa buong Pilipinas at uh, hindi raw karapat-dapat na isang psychic magdesisyon base sa hula. Judge Floro is an Ateneo Law graduate. He placed 12th in the bar exams. Just like anyone appointed in the judiciary, he passed a psychiatric exam. He said the complaint against him is the handiwork of his enemies at the Malabon RTC. This prompted a judicial audit by the Supreme Court. The findings, his conduct is unbecoming of a judge. For example, he distributes calling cards bearing the honors he received. A member of the team sent by the Supreme Court to audit him witnessed Judge Flora berating the judiciary and using improper language. The report does not mention anything about his healing. Meron ako sigurong hindi na pagbigyan at uh, meron din naman na ingit sa akin na mga 
mataas na opisyal dyan sa RTC ng Malabon na hindi ko naman akalain na maingit. Judge Floro's critics and the court administrator have refused to comment. Hearings on the case are still ongoing. Yung message ng healing uh, at saka judge position, isa lang naman, that there is a God. His friends from the other world cannot help him. To keep his job, Judge Floro needs a Chinese friend in Malacanang or a wedding lord from Pampanga. Nalalagay niya sa kanyang calling card na siya ay bar top-notcher. Isang trial court judge ng Malabon ang nasuspinde. Iniimbisigan na rin ng Korte Suprema ang iba pang paratang laban sa psychic judge na si Florentino Floro Jr. May report si Josie Sison. Psychic siya ngunit hindi niya nahulaan na masususpindi siya ng Korte Suprema. Labintatlong kasong administratibo ang isinampa na Supreme Court Administrator laban kay Judge Florentino Floro Jr. Unang-una sa listahan ang kanyang paglalagay sa calling card na bar top nature siya. Labag ito sa Canons of Judicial Conduct. Inaanunsyo pa umano ng judge ang kanyang kwalifikasyon sa mga hearing. What is disallowed by the canon for American or local jurisprudence is the uh, advertisement of positions regarding expertise. Isa pang kaso ay ang paglabag niya sa patakaran dahil blue ang robe na isinusot niya at hindi sitim. Anya nagkataon lamang na blue ang kulay ng Ateneo na kung saan siya nagtapos. The wearing of blue robe is substantial compliance with the circular. In fact, uh, very few judges now wear robes. Nasa preventive suspension pa rin si Judge Floro habang iniimbestigahan ng Korte Suprema ang kanyang kaso. Ang pinakahuling vuelta ng judge ay ang pagtampan nito ng disbarment laban kay Supreme Court Administrator Alfredo Benipayo. Anya pinatulan ni Benipayo ang kaso ng walang written complaint. Binaliwala naman ito ni Benipayo. Anya kung ito'y may basihan, dapat lahat ng justices ng Korte Suprema ay sabit dahil sila ang nagsispinde sa kanya. Ayon kay Benipayo, pinatatagan ng judge ang investigasyon dahil ayaw niya magpa-psychiatric test. Inamin ni Floro na kahit sa psychic, hindi niya pwedeng ma-predict ang magiging disisyon ng korte. It is uh, recognized worldwide that a gifted psychic cannot predict his own destiny. Para sa TV Patrol, Josie Season, ABS-CBN News. Trial Court Judge habang iniimbisigahan nito sa pagsusuot niya ng asul imbis na itim na robe. Iniimbisigahan pa rin si Judge Florentino Floro dahil sa kanyang kakaibang calling card. May report si Josie Season. Kabilang sa credentials ni Judge Florentino Floro ang pagiging isang psychic. Pero hindi niya nahulaan na sususpindihin siya ng Korte Suprema. Labing tatlong kasong administratibo ang isinampa ni Supreme Court Administrator Alfredo Benipayo laban sa kanya. Una na ang paglalagay niya na bar top nature siya sa kanyang calling card. Inaanunsyo pa umano ng judge ang kanyang kwalifikasyon sa tuwing may hearing. Labag ito sa canons of judicial conduct. What is disallowed by the canons for American or local jurisprudence is the uh, advertisement of positions regarding expertise. Nilabag din umano ni Judge Floro ang patakaran sa pagsuot ng robe. Inbis na itim, asul ang kulay ng kanyang robe. The wearing of blue robe is substantial compliance with the circular. In fact, uh, very few judges now wear robes. Nasa preventive suspension pa rin si Judge Floro habang iniimbestigahan ng Korte Suprema ang kanyang mga kaso. Pero bumwelta na rin si Judge Floro. Sinampahan niya ng disbarment case si Supreme Court Administrator Benipayo. Anya, pinatulan ni Benipayo ang kaso ng walang written complaint. Binaliwala ni Benipayo ang reklamo. Anya, kung papatulan ito, sabit na rin ang lahat ng justices ng Korte Suprema dahil sila ang nagsuspindi sa kanya. At kahit isa siyang psychic, inamin ni Floro na hindi niya kayang hulaan ang magiging desisyon ng Korte. Josie Season, ABS-CBN News.